Hello, my name is Michael Lee, and I'm a solutions engineer with DJI. Today, I'll be going over the U10 laser gas leak inspection solution. This will be part one of a three video series going over the U10. Today's first part is going to take place with how the technology works and a kind of little background of what it does. In the second series, I'll be going over how to set it up, pre-flight, flight, and post-flight. And then in the last video, I'll be going over the end case uses for the U10. Some of what I'll be going over again, methane detection, solution introduction, equipment, and some of the iOS app for the U10. The United States is one of the world's top six methane emitters. More than 300,000 US oil and gas wells and other sites alone emit methane. Then there's pipelines. Energy facilities and related operations account for 30% of the country's methane emissions. With drone-based tools emerging as a key tool, this can help assess many issues with methane emissions. Tunable diode laser absor absorption viscopetry. This technology known as TDLAS uses a laser as a technique for measuring the concentration of specific species of methane. The advantage of using TDLAS over other techniques for concentration measurement is its ability to achieve very low detection limits of particles per million, ppm. The molecules will absorb specific wavelengths of light. The beam illustrates the target and determines the characteristics of the return light to see the concentration. The laser beam is the size of one meter at 100 meters when flying the drone. Some recommending settings and tips for the U-10. We recommend flying at five to 10 meters per second and 30 minute flights. Also some tips and advantages and some advice. This includes and when you're flying in reflective surfaces and increase high flight altitudes, this will make your detection limit larger, making your data less accurate. So we recommend flying as low as possible for best accuracy. On top of that, the three axis gimbal is a huge advantage to traditional aircraft methods of detection where in traditional aircraft will have lots of shaking, which may result in reflective surfaces. With a DJI three axis gimbal, that is an advantage over manned aircraft. The laser gas leak detection module integ integrates a high definition alignment camera and a direction alignment motor, which is compatible with the M300 RTK. And it can also be attached with the H20T with the M300. And it is also compatible with the M200 and the M210 series. So the target gas with this device is CH4 known as methane. The response time is 25 milliseconds. Detection range 100 to 100 meters. The alignment camera is an EFL 4.0 f 2.8 millimeter lens. The camera is a Sony IMX290 recording at 720p HD. This is how a typical loadout will look like. You would have your DJI M300 RTK, your secondary payload, which could be the Z30, the H20T or H20 displayed in this photo and the U10 methane detection device. Some of the equipment necessary will be the M300, the U10, Apple iOS device, USB to lightning cable, and Zenmuse H20T with dual gimbal mount if necessary. The Alpha One app. This is how the Alpha One app looks like on the Apple Store. The integrated mobile application integrates DJI flight data and equipment information of the detector. This is the Alpha One app iOS. As you can see, it looks very similar to DJI Pilot. On your left right here, you will have your methane detection PPM. So you can see currently it is detecting 31.4 PPM of methane. 
And on your right side, you have your drop pins. Whenever there's a detection of methane, there will be an alarm point dropped and it will tell you the detection of the methane. This app is very similar to DJI Pilot. As you can see, telemetry remains very similar with satellites, uh, battery life, and then in the bottom, you will be able to see your AGL, hover speed, vertical speed, and all sorts of measurements needed. After the inspection, you can generate an inspection report with one click, and it can integrate the inspection route and alarm point information into a PDF that can be sent via email, airdrop, all sorts of ways to deliver the end result. That concludes the first part of the video. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and we will try our best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.